Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Precision Manufacturing System. I'm back with another interesting video regarding the uh, American Society Testing and Material, uh, which is called ASTM Standard Testing for Material Characterization. And uh, in, actually, in, in our previous video, uh, uh, I was explaining about the uh, ASTM Standard for testing uh, testing uh, tensile test actually uh, uh, and uh, uniaxial tensile test uh, but uh, in this video uh, I'm going to talk about another type of the uh, ASTM standard testing method uh, and uh, I will explain about the bending uh, test uh, and the uh, ASTM standard related to the bending for metal uh, and uh, plastic material uh, before starting the video uh, i really grateful if you could uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the like button and stick around until end of the video uh, please uh, share uh, our channel and our videos uh, with your colleague and friends and be a great and strong motivation for us and our team to create uh, such a video uh, for you guys uh, so don't forget uh, subscribe and uh, support uh, our uh, channel uh, so uh, let's start the video and uh, as you can see in this video we are going to uh, talk about uh, ASME standard for bending test and uh, for uh, metal as you can see we can use uh, E290 and, and uh, for uh, reinforcement and uh, on reinforcement plastic we should use uh, D790 uh, standard and actually there are different uh, standards for either uh, for both of them actually uh, for both uh, metal and plastic but uh, the, uh, the actually the main uh, standard which uh, uh, which is used in uh, ASME and uh, testing uh, for bending method um, uh, these two uh, standard uh, uh, is used for are used actually for uh, bending and uh, there are uh, the several uh, parameter uh, which we have to consider in uh, our machine and designing our machine and also uh, for uh, designing and uh, preparing our uh, specimen and the most uh, important parameters uh, is uh, for, for bending is uh, the, uh, the L parameter L uh, which uh, is uh, the distance between two support uh, and this this parameter is uh, is uh, uh, crucial for bending test and uh, the, uh, somehow uh, somehow uh, the whole parameter of uh, actually um, of a specimen somehow is related to and dependent uh, to uh, this parameter so let's start it uh, from the first one and for metal and for metal uh, as I said already said uh, is uh, e 290 and we can we can uh, we can uh, evaluate ductility of metallic materials by this method also we can determine uh, determines the materials ability to resist uh, cracking or fracture during the bending and uh, a specimen that uh, we can use different type of a specimen in this method uh, rectangular uh, a specimen like a sheet plate or flat product or cylindrical specimen like rod and wire or a round product and the dimensions of a specimen uh, which is uh, actually uh, which are you uh, very important for uh, preparing the specimen 
uh, as you can see uh, there are a limitation for this standard uh, from 1.5 uh, uh, millimeter to 6 millimeter uh, and uh, the width of the specimen should be between 10 uh, to 40 and uh, the length of a specimen should be at least 10 times uh, the thickness of the specimen uh, th thickness um, uh, uh, here you can see with uh, e T is stand for actually for uh, thickness or D and uh, W is stand for width and uh, C is uh, actually somewhere uh, here uh, you can see distance between lower supports and somewhere they called uh, a span between supports uh, or a span lens uh, something like that and uh, actually the width of the specimen uh, is, uh, is uh, it's very different uh, and depends on the equipment of machine it could be different and the criteria for acceptance the test and the specimen in this test uh, uh, we have to consider this uh, this matter and uh, we uh, no cracks larger than specified in the material standard and also uh, as i already said the c parameter is so uh, so important and uh, we have to uh, calculate the C parameter and the C parameter uh, actually is calculated by this uh, equation C equal to 2R uh, plus 3T uh, plus minus T divided by 2 and uh, as you know R stand for the radius of the uh, punch and the support and it's uh, it could be different uh, based on the machine and also the t is thickness uh, the specimen d is uh, the uh, d or t could be the actually the for d is for round specimen actually and t is a for flat specimen the thickness of flat and w is the width of a specimen okay uh, let's uh, see the uh, the uh, standard PDF uh, as uh, we before uh, uh, we did before the I will uh, actually I am uh, showing you guys the standard and the, the reference and uh, I will explain to you guys how you can uh, actually find uh, the uh, standard uh, for each kind of test uh, from uh, any of papers or uh, or uh, any research article uh, in any uh, actually uh, papers uh, you can easily find uh, actually the standard uh, which was used on that paper by looking by searching or looking for uh, for uh, actually uh, the board of ASTM ASTM uh, and if you actually guys uh, search about this word you can find the uh, the, uh, the standard uh, number or code which was used on that paper and as you as you see uh, we can find from here and as you can see yeah preparation of the three point bending test and the material is uh, stainless steel uh, so the material is metal and the standard is uh, ASTM E219 and for uh, downloading them uh, the standard you can easily write uh, in any browsers you can uh, write uh, like uh, STM and the code and PDF free download and then actually you can uh, have the uh, the PDF of the ASM standard and uh, from the scope as I already said in the, our previous video uh, I don't want uh, again explain again the detail about about the um, actually PDF file uh, 
uh, I uh, explained about the uh, about the detail in previous uh, video and you can see the previous and find how you can understand about the procedure but uh, briefly I, uh, I will explain the method and from the scope you can find uh, what kind of uh, method and the material will be covered by this method and from the summary uh, actually we can uh, find the summary of the test method and uh, as you can see there are different uh, type of bending uh, uh, for example no die u bend v bend and uh, based on uh, based on your purpose and your project you can f uh, actually uh, select one of them and uh, do the your uh, your test and uh, from here as you can see from uh, for, this is uh, the the with no die and uh, here you can see the u bend uh, and or this is a, a v, v shape bend uh, bending test or uh, the the rest of the uh, method and uh, based on your uh, as i said based on your pay purpose and your project you should uh, select the the one that is suitable for you your project and from here the test specimen you should find them um, them actually uh, you can find uh, many uh, information about your uh, the prepara uh, pre uh, specimen preparation for example the thickness or uh, the, the uh, strain rate or other things uh, that you can find here and uh, also uh, for uh, for the second method uh, for actually plastic one as I said before we have to use uh, D719 and by this in, in this uh, standard we can measure flexural or bending strength and modulus applica applicable for rigid and semi-rigid plastic including composites and there are two different type uh, the, uh, by using uh, crosshead position for deflection measurement or using the deflective motor meter for uh, measuring the deflection and uh, it is used uh, for plastic thermosets and composite and uh, the, the dimension the, as I always said the supports dimension or lens is a, uh, one of the major uh, parameter uh, in this test the support uh, span to uh, to depths uh, of a specimen ratio uh, is 16 uh, to 1 uh, and you have to care about uh, and consider in your uh, day uh, 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 specimen preparation and we can calculate the flexural strength and uh, modulus by these formula and uh, as you can see f stands for load l stands for span length, uh, length and uh, b is uh, the specimen uh, width and d specimen thickness and uh, slope of load deflection curve uh, and uh, again we uh, go back to a standard and i will show you guys the reference that uh, from this paper uh, I found uh, the standard which they used for uh, fiber reinforcement and uh, fiber metal laminates uh, that we can understand uh, this standard can be used for uh, actually uh, reinforcement uh, plastic and uh, from here flex uh, loading or test uh, you can find the ASTM D790 uh, which is used for three uh, point bending test and uh, from here we can understand the code and find the uh, uh, actually test and from uh, scope we can uh, understand this is uh, this could be used for flux troll uh, properties of uh, on re reinforcement and reinforcement plastic 
and uh, actually uh, if you guys want to find more information please study the uh, standard and um, PDF and uh, you can find mis uh, many information about the test but as uh, I already said uh, from summary of the test method you can find um, uh, actually um, um, the, the, the summary information of the PDF for example here is mentioned as we mentioned with there are two uh, different method procedure A and procedure B, B for example if you want to uh, uh, work with per, based on the procedure A you should uh, consider a strain rate as a 0.01 millimeter per mean uh, and uh, if uh, your test is based on the procedure B uh, the strain rate is uh, 0 0.1 uh, millimeter per inch and uh, actually uh, the, the here uh, for app uh, for, for uh, actually your uh, machine you can find different and so many information uh, from here for example uh, for uh, movable members uh, for, for example loading for punch uh, you have to curse something or the, the support uh, cylinder call it should be a uh, shall have a, a cylinder called a surface and the radius should be uh, for example loading nose and support shall have uh, uh, shall be five uh, with a tolerance 0 0.1 tolerance and um, again uh, actually uh, you can uh, different you can use different uh, dimension and personal uh, make a uh, personalized uh, method for your own uh, for your own uh, project or, or for your uh, actually based on your uh, equipment but uh, but you have to care about the, the uh, rule and uh, the some uh, information and um, uh, some uh, the um, limitation which uh, uh, which there is uh, in a standard and you have to uh, curve and uh, apply on your uh, actually your test and uh, from from here uh, from this uh, curve you can find a specimen uh, that breaks before yielding it's referred to the A and B a specimen that yields and then break before the 5 percent strain and see a specimen the neither yield nor break before the uh, five person strain and this uh, actually uh, this shows the typical curve of uh, bending stress versus bending strain and this uh, we can use uh, this gra uh, curve for calculating the those uh, uh, factor um, uh, and uh, from here, uh, actually, uh, uh, actually, the t uh, terminology you can find the definition uh, terms and the, the similar uh, semi actually uh, testing method uh, which uh, can be used from for this uh, material and. Uh, all needs uh, all things that you guys need I explained uh, and this was the uh, for for this uh, actually video uh, please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and uh, be a strong motivation for uh, our team and uh, don't uh, uh, don't uh, forget to like and share our video uh, on our channel with your colleague and uh, your actually uh, your uh, friends uh, thank you so much for being with end of uh, with me uh, end of this video and uh, thank you so much see you guys bye bye